Hi, I'm Aldwin Altenay, photojournalist on the Gold Coast, and I'm here today with the lovely Dee Dee McCarthy, Gold Coast author who's taking the world by storm. Thanks, Aldwin. Fantastic to have you on the show. Now, just checking, Dee, uh, you've just put this book out. What was it that inspired you to write the book? Well, Aldwin, I've been having nightmares, vivid nightmares for a long time, and I had one for nine months the same one over and over and it starts as a little story and then it grows so every time it, by the end of the nine months I had a whole little story and I got tired one day and I thought I have to write this down I wrote it down and that's how the book started okay. from the nightmare that I had yeah and so each each nightmare was a story of the book it's actually a character of the book so all different things that I dreamt became characters in the books and how did you actually initially start writing? Was it all nightmares initially when you first started writing many years ago? Or? No, I have never written. I have um, just always remembered them. But I don't forget them. And I only started writing after I've written the first nightmare down. And that's, I went then into the art of writing and how to write a book. And I started from there. It took me two and a half years of research before I started writing the book. And that's how I started, just research, reading, a lot of reading, then reading the subject matter that you're writing about, finding anything I can about it, and then I started the writing. So can you tell us a little bit about what New Soil is all about? What is the storyline? The story is uh, about, well, I'll put it this way. Um, I started writing it as normal characters, as normal human beings, but what I found while I was writing it, it didn't work. Um, characters and nightmares and normal people don't mix. You can't make a normal person do superhuman things. So I put it in the supernatural genre and then it worked. When I used vampires and werewolves, these nightmares made sense and then I put a love story to it. My nightmares never had a love story in there, but it's now a love story. And the characters and the plots and things that happen in the nightmares are now parts in the book. Is this the start of what will be a sequel, would you say? Yes, it is. There's three books in the planning, because when I started penning down all the nightmares, I had too much material. And it makes it harder, because you can only follow the nightmares, because you started on nightmares, you have to keep with it. You've got to keep the, the nightmares in sequence, otherwise it doesn't make sense, because a lot of nightmares never make sense. And it ended up being three books. So the first one is coming out in the next couple of weeks. What do you hope people will gain by reading your books? That there's a positive to nightmares. You can change it. You can always take something negative and turn it into a positive. I turned my nightmares into something that uh, it, I hope it's nice to read, but also that it made sense why I had these nightmares and I put it like in a sensible order. And now all these nightmares make sense why I had them. So you're hoping they will help people? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, and it's also a very fun book to read because the characters get into trouble and all sorts of things. Mm. <laughs> and are you still having nightmares now? I still do, yes. Yes, I actually had a very bad one last night. Okay. Woke me up. And um, I thought, oh, that's another chapter. <laughs> so do you know what it is that causes these nightmares? Well, as a kid, I used to uh, sleepwalk. I would get up at night and wake up at different parts in the house, and I thought, this is not where I went to bed. And as I got older, that changed, and it just morphed into nightmares. So um, the nightmares just carried on through my whole uh, life, and... I never thought much about them. I went through a stage, I was too scared to go to bed because you, you know you're going to have that nightmare or a nightmare and I was afraid to go to sleep. So I used to go to sleep for three hours a night because that's all I was allowed because the dreams were so vivid and I would start waking myself up not to have those dreams and never thought of writing it down, never even occurred to me to write it down until I had this one nightmare that carried on for nine months and then that's when it started. The nightmare that carried on for nine months that got you started with your writing, when was that? It was for most part of 2007 
yeah, I think it was 2007, and then I started writing it down. But it took me a while after I've written it to think, what am I going to do with this? I have written this, and then it starts, the sand, the seed is planted, so you start thinking of how to, or what to do with this, and that's how I started, and then I, it came to me that different nightmares could be different characters. So we have murderers and cutthroats, because they always have bloodthirsty nightmares, they, they, they're nasty. There's nothing lovable about them, so I use them as characters in the book. So now would you say you welcome your nightmares? I do, I do. I'm not afraid of them anymore. Uh, I just think it's another thing to write into a character or something that's happening or an event that could happen in the books. And I enjoy them now, so I'm not afraid to go to bed anymore. So that's quite good. Excellent. Thank you, Dee. We look forward to more installments from <laughs> your series. Thanks, Alden.